welcome back. And uh, for those of you who perhaps have noticed, it, summer's almost here. Mm -hmm. uh, for some students, it already is. And uh, we are talking about getting the body in shape for the summer, specifically toning the abs and building the muscle. Yeah. We have with us health and fitness coach, Ed Williams. Right. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Uh, nice How are you today? Oh, oh, great. Especially <laughs> with those radiant smiles. <laughs> How can I help but smile? <laughs> And it's always you nice to have you in, partner. You, you know, a beautiful couple. You know, we we we, we try. We do. We do what we do. You know. Uh, yeah. But it's always nice to have you in, like we mentioned. And uh, when we see, you, we know for a fact that you know something healthy is about to go down. You bet. Summer is almost here. Everybody looking forward to that body. As a matter of yeah. fact, in Belize City at this particular point, mm -hmm. you see a lot of people actually flocking out there. Oh, and this trying is one to of the busy done. seasons at it gym. It is. It is. It, it goes is. up and down, right? Yeah, there's a wave to it. Yeah. We recently moved our boot camp to Memorial Park, oh. right in the heat of the activity. But we did it for one important reason, mm -hmm. air quality. Mm. It's very important. Oh, wow. This is very, very important. You could defeat your purpose, actually, not just slow yourself down, but defeat your purpose of exercise if you don't have this one thing. Yeah. We need, need oxygen-rich air when you work out. So we made that move because we were having all kinds of issues at Raja Stadium. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to stay there because I want to be in the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we were just having one issue after the other when it comes to air quality. There's a um, dry cleaning plant across the way there. Mm -hmm. They emit chemicals. Then there is the smokestacks that come from the market. The bus terminal and is right Bus behind. terminal is right. Ooh, boy. Ooh. Um, and yeah, the yeah, yeah. even the yeah. dust Ooh, from the dust. fields. But... I mean, it's not only air quality at Memorial Park. That view that you oh, get of that, oh. that's where we are happy uh -huh. to be Belizeans. Oh. Yes. We get by that coast and we yes. see that sun rising, setting. It's beautiful. Woo. And then the people flock there. And it, it, to me, it reminds me of, of an Olympic village, right? Mm -hmm. You see people all sizes and shape. I look at them as Olympians. Whatever, yeah. no matter what, you're an Olympian. You have your own challenges, and you're winning. Mm -hmm. Just yes. by showing up Just out there, showing up. you win. You're already winning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See? So, um. so let's talk about it. One mm -hmm. of the things we, we have learned uh, through conversation with you, and I think it is so important as mm -hmm. it's becoming a, a wider knowledge to people now, mm -hmm. your scales don't count mm -hmm. in the way that you think it does. <laughs> Health comes in building and preserving muscle. Yeah. Um, so you can be 200 pounds of fat or you can be 200 pounds of muscle, muscle. Mm -hmm. and the pound, 200 pounds of muscle is more important absolutely and um, so it's important that we are losing weight mm -hmm. if you're obese but mm -hmm. that you are building muscle at the same time yes um because that's where you're you have improved health status so what do we need to do to build this muscle um okay let's start at the beginning we need to get our rest <laughs> Beauty sleep is more than just skin deep, mm -hmm. right? It's important. That's when the body will rebuild itself, right? When we do what we call exercise, for the most part, we're not building anything. We're tearing it down, yeah. right? And, that, and they see the body has this adaptability. See, we tear it down, and then the body builds it back stronger mm -hmm. and better, mm -hmm. right? And it's new. This is actually... Um, rejuvenation this is the fountain of youth it, it, therein lies the fountain of youth you see because cells die and are reproduced mm -hmm. muscle cells um, muscle cells are 60 percent water mm -hmm. fat cells are about 35 39 percent of course because there's the oils mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and the difference is um, <laughs> I like to ask this question Especially to women, because it, it drives the point home. What's the difference between a raisin and a grape? Uh, one is has more volume, obviously. No, one much has much more water than the other. A raisin is a dehydrated grape. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. you can have a choice and you can dehydrate yourself if you want to. But, I mean, after you've heard this, you know what you need to do. You need to hydrate if you want to yeah. look good anywhere. <laughs> you got to hydrate. Just trying to figure out where you we're gotta going. You got to have, you want beautiful hair. <laughs> You want beautiful skin, beautiful flush face, you got to hydrate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
And then I don't know what people have against water. I love drinking water. water but some nice. people are, there are they some can't have anything unless it's there are some sugar to it. Yeah. There are some ways to trick you th th that because that's that's a, that's a, a, a programming, a yeah. conditioning. Mm. But the, we, we, we have to win. So we come up with ways, you know, we do, um, um, for example, there is the non-colorific um, uh, things that uh, we add yeah. to water. Mm -hmm. You could do the right. infuse. They put the fruit in and, and it that's gives the, the flavor. That's yeah. the most important yeah. one because it's natural. Yeah. You just, you know, you can soak a pitcher of water in cucumber. Yeah. yeah. Gives it a refreshing yeah. taste. Or even... Um, some lemon, some citrus. Some lime. Some yeah. 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 How about um, watermelon rind? Mm. Just cut the watermelon. You don't need the, the red part. The red yeah. part. Just the rind. Just the yeah. And soak it in there. And then, of course, things like apple cider apple cider good apple cider not just not apple cider vinegar because yeah. yeah. that refined stuff you know it's just yeah. it's more alcohol mm. than anything else but good apple cider vinegar you can add a few ounces to your water, your water. you can add a slice of lemon there's lots of things you can do yeah. to improve that yeah right but as you're saying two important elements so far Sleep, because that's when your body actually builds the muscle. Mm -hmm. Right. And hydration, hydra hydration for your right. body. Exactly. Right. So what else do we have to consider when we're trying to build muscle? Well, um... And can, let, me, let me just jump in there, because it's, <laughs> it's a female <laughs> thing, too. Guys, and when you say build muscle, they're like, yeah. yeah. But girls are like, I don't want to look like a bodybuilder. <laughs> <laughs> right or yeah, wrong? You're right. Yeah. You're right. Well, what, did you're what did Diana Ross say? <laughs> I don't know. You Diana Ross said, I want muscle. <laughs> that's a woman speaking. Yeah. yeah. Right? And women that have been misled by those, um, I don't know what to call them, but they are cross, right? Mm -hmm. they, they have increased male hormones. Mm -hmm. The female bodybuilders that you see, we're look, women are looking at the wrong bodybuilders. Yeah. Let me just say this, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're looking at bodybuilders that, are, um, that have, you know, hyperactive male hormones. Mm -hmm. They're no longer even feminine. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's not the bodybuilders that you want to be looking at from a woman's perspective, you have a bunch of really feminine bodybuilders, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, and I mean, if you have a feminine mole, I don't care how much weight you lift, you mm. can only make it better. You can only become more feminine, Yeah. right? And building muscle is what makes you look toned. Yeah, and that's the thing. And that's... And, and a woman's mole comes with muscle in the right places mm -hmm. already, yeah. right? Now, you can complement that with your choice of exercise, mm -hmm. which we're about to get into next, I presume. All right. Your choice of exercise is critical. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. and, 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 and I love the fact that, you're, that you said that, because mm -hmm. like I mentioned, as a matter of fact, not only in Belize City, but mm -hmm. across this country, people are out there mm -hmm. and they're doing things. Right. Now I say things <laughs> because what they're doing might not might not be exactly what they're the, what they want to happen. Exactly. So let's might venture off them into their that. People are walking, people are jogging, mm -hmm. but people they want to the lose gym. weight. They're at yeah. the gym. Yeah. They, they want to lose weight. Are they doing what they're supposed to do to get where they want to go? Um most of the people are wasting time. Um they are it's good thinking time, don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's stress, it's a stress buster. And it's good for the heart. Good for the heart. <laughs> it's, good it's good for the heart. Yeah, it's good to good pump for the heart. But yeah. for the look that you're going for. But you know, you, you, you have to be smart about your specific goal, mm -hmm. right? So um, you, you, um, you, first of all, you have to take an assessment of your strength zone. Mm -hmm. What do you need to improve upon, <laughs> right? Some people just go for it because they're strong in a certain area, but you're a if you're strong in a certain area, then more than likely you don't need to work on that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some people just have nice glutes, right? And you see them all the time. All they want to do is squats. But you already have nice glutes. Work on the rest. Work on something else. But isn't it, I mean, I've read right. before that, that focusing exclusively on one part of the body mm -hmm. isn't good either. That, like, if you're doing... Mm -hmm. Best example, abs, and you mm -hmm. gotta do ab work every single day. I, it's not necessarily the best way to get results. Nope, it's actually the best way to to do damage. Okay. Yeah. Right? Overuse, mm -hmm. um, especially like when you you talked about abs, sit up. Some people people believe in sit up. Some people crunches. go crazy yeah. on sit up and crunches. Those are the worst exercise. They they damage your spine. Mm -hmm. Right, eventually. Especially if you have the wrong um, technique. If you don't have the proper technique, make it worse. That only aggravates the situation. Mm. 
right? But the last thing you want to do is abs, crunches, and sit-ups, right? Now, you asked a question earlier about um, six packs, right? This mm -hmm. is the big thing. Everybody wants six packs, right? Or eight packs, you can have both. <laughs> you, those are made in the kitchen, first of all. <laughs> really? Well, what do you mean? What, what do you point. mean? What do you mean? It's about what's at the end of the fork, what you're putting in, mm -hmm. right? You know, that's what's important, right? That's, that, let's put it like this. That's 70% of the equation. For a six pack. Right. Really? Right. Yeah. So 70% is from the kitchen. What kitchen. you're eating. Kitchen. Wow. Eye opening. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Eye opening. So, so the science behind this is what? You'll be building the muscle. Right. With doing the crunches uh -huh. behind the fat, but you're not losing the fat. Right. If you don't, okay, so everybody has six packs. Everybody. Everybody does. You yeah. come yeah. with yeah. it. It's, yeah. a, it's a muscle that's some, there. Yeah. Some, some people's are hidden. <laughs> And I mean hidden. Very really well concealed. <laughs> right. See? <laughs> but, uh, the goal is to expose when it comes to six packs. The goal is to expose them. Yeah. You, you can't build them to any great degree because it's not the kind of muscle that you build. Yeah. Right? You have, you, 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 you have to just remove the cover. Right? Remo and you remove the cover by burning fat. Doing exercises that burn fat. Now, um, uh, and a lot of people even waste their time in the gym. But um, yeah, and they're in the gym for hours and hours. Oh. <laughs> Busy I've people I've seen people like really? that. I've seen people who goes in the gym and they just uh and uh. Mm -hmm. And there is and nothing no there way. to show. No change. They've got strength, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But that's besides building strength, you want to show something exactly. that, you know, exactly. that you're working on. Exactly. So um, you got to work on... on um, we call the over overload principle is one. Mm -hmm. You have limit. You have a time a, a time window when you go in the gym, so you want to um, overload that time. You want to get the most mm -hmm. out yeah. of that time. Mm -hmm. So the overload principle involves adding resistance mm -hmm. to your workout. Yeah. Right. You you're so you're talking you're about weights. Weights or bands or resistance. Uh, resistance mm -hmm. bands. You name it. We just I use the term resistance because it covers everything. Yeah. Right. And that includes body weight too, right? Of course, of course. But with, 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 we need a little bit more than body weight mm -hmm. because with just body weight, it takes more time. Yeah. Uh, everybody likes the build of, of, of the gymnasts, right? It's mm -hmm. a really pleasing build. Mm -hmm. they, for the most part, they work with body weights, but they put a lot of hours behind, behind what you see. Mm -hmm. you know, and most of the moves that they're doing are very difficult, mm -hmm. right? But they... They, they really cause the muscles to pop out. Yeah. But I mean, you know, working the rings, for example. Have you ever done the rings? I mean, this stuff is, you see these guys standing up on <laughs> rings and then flipping over and- Stretching out on the ring. Out the kind of uh, holding their body, yes. Yeah. Balance that case. Uh, you know, and, but, then, but then you see the results. Yeah. <laughs> Not just in their performance, but in their physique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see the results. Um. So what's your advice to people? So everybody is saying, listen, okay, if they're, it's kind of late to get ready mm -hmm. for Lobster Fest now. <laughs> but let's say uh, the Costa Maya Festival in okay. August. I'm, I'm thinking of San Pedro right. and that bikini yeah. or those mm -hmm. great swimsuits for the guys and want to show off the chest and abs. What do we need to do to start to work on building those muscles? Well, there's a lot we can do in the short okay, term. Okay, tell us. Right? Um, let's talk about exercise physiology. Mm -hmm. Those exercises that involves large muscle groups needs to be the exercises of choice, right? I mean, things like burpees. Burpees, exercise in hell, mm -hmm. made by the devil himself. Mm -hmm. That's what people call them, but they are, burpees is the best exercise. Burpees, mountain climbers, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you know, um, bridges, right? <laughs> I'm going back to aerobics class with Ed years ago. Uh, no more aerobics. Wow. Forget aerobics. That's <laughs> no, but that's, I mean, that's those were some of the fundamentals then, yeah. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> burpees, um, oh. but burpees are, 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 um, are also, if you fall into a rhythm with it, yeah. then you, you get... You do you do burpees? I do. Have you I done a burpee? I've, I've done, I've done, I've done a lot of work. Okay. There is all Can you show us a burpee? Let's, let's 
see variations a burpee, right? of burpees. Yeah. Okay, go so, no, go I was telling you, John. I got, oh, John. Oh, okay. Let's get some examples yeah. from it. John. I'll see what happens when it comes to the burpees. You burpee. know, when I first started doing, I was on the football team in high school, and I this was what I did. I prefer to run the laps and do the burpees. But what is simple? You can do it very basically. Mm -hmm. You can do a basic burpees. Hands on the ground, step mm -hmm. back, step back, step forward, step forward, jump, jump. up. That's one, right? Mm -hmm. That's basics. That's low you impact. You would never let somebody get away with doing a burpee like that. Would that's you? a low impact that's burpee. Like that's a low impact day. burpee. For people that are severely overweight. Yeah, okay. So, like that. I understand that. Okay. Then the other burpee goes like this. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That's a burpee. That's a burpee. No, you know, it looks it easy because he does one and stop. Mm -hmm. Right, of course. <laughs> and then there's the burpee push up. Okay. There's all variations of burpee. You, you that's kind of burpee push up. You go. One, two, push Down, up, up, push up, jump. So oh. it's like a three-part movement yeah. that really done, gets you going, done. gets you yeah. blowing, yeah. right? Um, and then mountain climbers. Yeah. Those are good. Excellent. So what's that working? That's working your legs, your core, your arms? Um, everything oh, works. Okay. Mm. Yeah. The burpees, your core works, your lower back your calves, your triceps. Mm -hmm. The only muscle that gets a marginal hit would be your bicep. Okay. You know? So we had mountain climbers, what mm -hmm. else? Squats. But um, some people waste this move. I prefer to do squat presses. Mm -hmm. Take a pair of dumbbells that you can handle, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Let it hang, mm -hmm. right? And spread your feet a little bit wider mm -hmm. than shoulder width. Then push your butt back like you're about to sit on a chair yeah. and squat down. Keep yeah. your head up, back up. Should let that weight hang. What about your, yeah, your back and up? Your back right. has Everything to up. be uh, in up. right posture. Right? Right? When you look down, you should be able to see your toes over your knees. Over yeah. your knees. If you yeah. can't, then you're straining the knees, yeah. right? And then you come up here. And then you come up here. And then you press up here. Press up there. Right? All the way up. Mm -hmm. And back down, right? The old uh, traditional workout, we used to call this clean and jerk, mm -hmm. right? But this was done with a bar. It's actually the best exercise. So um, these are three we've talked about so far mm -hmm. that will help you to, to work on the muscles. Work on the muscles, Quickly, yeah. and in, in the shortest period of time, mm -hmm. you will burn fat. But one right. of the things that we n we're noticing here, mm -hmm. beside, you know, especially with the burpees and what he just mm -hmm. did, you're actually grasping for air. So you're actually yes. building stamina. You're building strength. Long you're capacity. burning fat. You're, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're actually right. working there. It's, nearly, it's, it's actually some cardio. Well, I don't like that word. You don't like the word cardio? <laughs> <laughs> cardio kind of brings down the, the value. But we, we, let's, let's just say um, hit, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, when we say cardio, I tend to, my mind goes to slow state cardio, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we can, uh, we do um, only sprints, right? And we'll do maybe a 60 meter sprint, walk back. Walk yeah. back. Right? Sprint, Take it walk again. back, right? And when you sprint, you, you start out with maybe 60, 70% of your all out effort. And then you crank it up. You want to get up to about 90%, mm -hmm. right? And, um, you know. The, the beautiful part about this is you can like this. Mm -hmm. if yeah. you know, running is something that people, a lot of people passionately hate. Hmm. Right? And some people <laughs> passionately, <laughs> passionately love. love. <laughs> some people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people. Yeah. But most people that are overweight, the people that I deal with, passionately hate running oh, okay. because it's too much impact for them. So, but, but, but when we start doing um, interval, Training, then they say, oh, yeah, I can love this. Guess why? Because you're going to run. You get to take that to break stop. that as a runner you believe you can't make. You're right? going to stop. <laughs> it's like, I don't want right? to stop. But, you know, the challenge that runners have, like all runners. I, I, I did the LA Marathon. I did it five times. The challenge that all runners have is to keep running when every, m every cell in your body is Set screaming, stop. screaming, stop. Right? So Breaking that's a mental, mental, that's a mental yeah. challenge, right? But... Let's say but that's what runners love is pushing yourself, pushing yourself to the that. next limit. Yes. Yeah, but that's not easy. That's not for the ordinary person. You see, whenever I do things, I'm thinking about 
the, 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 the regular everyday person, how can, how can we help them to win? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? They're going to be defeated by that. So with right? sprints, it's better, especially... Yeah. You know uh, you're going to stop right there. It's right in sight. You can see it, right? Mm -hmm. So get, get there as quick as you can so you can turn around and stroll back. And take a slow walk stroll. back. But then after that, mm -hmm. you're going to speed up and head back again. Then but, 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 but as soon as you get your heart rate back mm -hmm. down to normal at the starting point, then you turn mm -hmm. around and you do it again. But yeah. I'll tell you what, Ed, you know, uh, and for folks who love running and mm -hmm. don't want to stop or jogging and don't want to stop would have an argument and say, you know what? I don't want to stop because no, I feel, you two know, different what's the difference? Yeah. Exercise. Well, see, yeah. th those, r those runners can do wind sprints, but don't stop. Don't stop. Just slow down. Take it over and then you... Slow down. I'm a runner. I love yeah. to run. You want to get your heart rate all the way up through. We, 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 this old heart rate thing that we used to have where we said, um, you know, you want to reach your target heart rate, yeah. mm. fat burning zone. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. old stuff, right? Yeah. You don't want to reach your target heart rate. You want to bust Burst through your, your target your heart, heart rate. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Right? After yeah. you've seen and then the come doctor. Back down. After you've seen the doctor. Of course, sure. you better but see the me, doctor. Let me say this, because mm -hmm. I think, you know, uh, high intensity interval training, mm -hmm. HIT. Um, I remember once you explained that it could be done with any form of exercise, with your yes. jogs, mm -hmm. with yes. your walks, yes. with your riding of your bike. Yes. It's just fast and slow, or yeah. all out energy mm -hmm. and recover, all, right. all out energy recover. and recover. Right. Heart but rate up, and I heart rate down. I heart rate up, heart rate down. And I could see the argument here, though, Ed, uh, with, with, with running or, or sprinting mm -hmm. and then jogging. A lot of people don't know that the body does get to that compla complacency level when you're jogging. Mm -hmm. Then you say, you know what, I'm jogging three miles today, but mm -hmm. we never uh, um, uh, go over the limit in terms of the speed that we mm -hmm. put in. Yeah. So the heart tends to stay right there yeah. at that one level yeah. going. As we were saying it this morning, equilibrium. This the body. heart stays right there. Yeah. And you're not happens. doing anything nope. but damaging your knees. You're getting thinking time. You're, you're getting thinking time. Up your but let me say this, mm -hmm. to in all fairness, mm -hmm. running is still good. So it's if nobody does what, any yes. exercise and they only run or jog, it's a great way to keep your heart healthy. Mm -hmm. But oh. if it's weight loss you're going after, mm -hmm. it's not going to be the, fest, the best or fastest way to get your results. There's one other consideration. Yeah. If you're like me, yeah. over 50. Mm -hmm. If you're over 50, then an important consideration is mileage. Yeah. Right? You need to get the best bang without the added mileage. Yeah. And you do that by um, with, with, with sprints. With wind sprints and, and by doing hit. Right? You or more low impact. Yeah. Low Makes impact. Want to sprint right uh, you know. But um, <laughs> um, the, the important thing, and, and John rightly said, we can do this with any type of, we, we do a type of workout that, uh, that we, um, it's original. Yeah. Believes Fit Body Clinic. We have a signature core workout, but we do what we call finishers. Finishers are, real intense little spurts of exercise and we just add them back to back for an entire 30 minutes right no rest mm -hmm. you rest when you're done mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah you rest when you finish yeah you know uh, people say about oh you know rest no you rest when you die <laughs> you but, <laughs> let, but let me ask you this but you said we need to get enough sleep to build muscle so don't yes, yes, yes. no 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 i'm talking about within right. that window of workout okay but let me ask right? you this ed mm -hmm. yeah there are people who would tell you that they're addicted addicted to working out is this mm -hmm. a bad thing hmm it's a good addiction health and exercise right mm -hmm. but um it's, it's uh, like, like any addiction, mm -hmm. you have to be able to um, have some control. Yeah. Because otherwise you end up hurting yourself, right? But it's the best addiction. It's an addiction that, 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 that grabbed me and took a hold of me. I was yeah. five years old when my dad first started to take me to the barracks back in the days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When all these Olympians, Duncan Vernon, XYZ, Straker Turton, um, Oh, what's his name? The, um, all these old Belizean Olympians. These yeah. guys used to be on the barracks swimming. I used to watch these guys and I used to admire these guys. I'm like, they, 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 these people, they run and they swim. Right? I'm actually thinking so about let's, it. So let's, let's close this off with this. Uh -huh. How much time does one have to be putting in at the gym 
or at home if they're doing something. Mm -hmm. What what's what's a reasonable because you know yeah some people minutes. can be obsessed with exercising, but minutes. everything it needs to be done in moderation. Thirty minutes, and you and just bear in mind that even a four minute workout can be effective yeah. if you don't have the time. Yeah. Right. But 30 minutes, I would say 30 minutes max, right? With intensity. The key word is intensity. Yeah. Uh, Not you 30 don't lazy minutes. You don't want to be <laughs> cruising through that 30 <laughs> minutes. You're, you're wasting it. You want to go, 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 and you're done. Yeah. yeah. Right? And when you're finished, you feel so good. Take a nice shower. And you get your day started. You get your day started. You still have energy to, 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 to go through your day. Yeah. All right. So right. there you go. According to Ed. Wow. You can make it in time for Costa Maya Festival in Tadaki's <laughs> body. Yes. 30 minutes a day, you, you, high intensity <laughs> interval training. You can make a difference in mm. six weeks. You can see different results in yeah. six weeks. 30 minutes a day. Monitor the minutes. food if yeah. you're looking for the abs yeah. and uh, put in the work. That's right. Thank you, Ed, for coming in Thank this you. morning. Thank My you, buddy. All right, Thank we're going to go ahead and take that final break. And when we come back, we'll have our wrap up. So stay tuned.